everyone. I am Malik, and this is going to be my YouTube channel, and it's mostly going to be for VJD stuff. And if you don't know what VJD means, it's ball jointed doll, which um, they are these kind of Asian dolls made of resin. And um, resin is a very expensive material, and these dolls are expensive. And it's a good hobby for like artists and photographers and even if you're just into like collecting dolls and stuff and um i uh will leave some websites that you can check out these dolls in down below and um basically for this video i'm just going to introduce myself and possibly some of my dolls and um just tell you about like how i got into the hobby and all and my first doll and all that kind of junk um well it was like back in 2012 i saw these dolls online and i thought they were beautiful but then i started looking them up and i was like oh my god these are so expensive and like back in 2012 i was still young and weird i'm still weird now but i i'm older i'm more mature and, um, uh, like, I asked my mom if I could get one of the dolls and my aunts, and I showed them the price of these dolls, and they're like, if you can find, um, a cheaper way to get these dolls, let me know. But, um, I looked into pull-up dolls, where, um, I, uh, they are cheaper, and, um, than, like, a BJD. And I got my first pull-up doll, which is a was a Dow Alice Madness Returns doll. I actually still have her, but she's naked and over there. And uh, she it, she was really special to me. And she was my first doll, not BJD, but doll. I mean, I collected Monster High dolls, but this was like felt like to me I was really getting into the hobby and um I started buying clothes for her and stuff like that with my allowance and um I uh then in 2013 I got my first technically BJD it was a Hujo doll which Hujo as most people know is not resin it's ABS plastics and it's a cheaper method of BJDs, like for beginners and stuff like that. And um, it's uh, it was a Hujo Nano Freyer, and Freya, sorry. And he, I named him Virgil, and he was a little kitty cat doll. He was like about that big, so he was a one twelfth doll. And um, I didn't know anything. I didn't know he came blank, I didn't know he came without eyes, and so when I got him, I was kind of like, okay, and I got him some eyes, and a wig, and all that, and I did his makeup, which it was terrible, terrible, and um, I recently retired him, uh, but I'm going to keep his character and maybe put it on like a Pippo's cat BJD um, when I have enough money to... And, um, so, and then I got, um, my second BJD, which was a DC Ada, still a 112th doll. Oh, no, she wasn't my second. She was actually my first resin BJD. And my second BJD was a YoSD doll, was a Hujo Berry, and she was, her name was Abigail, and I got all her clothes for Christmas that year. And then I got a Hujo Wings boy. And he and her have, I've given them to one of my friends who is getting into the hobby recently. And they're in a new home and they're better there because I didn't pay attention to them that much anymore. Um, and then my first resin doll was a doll Chateau Ada. And I, um, I still have her. And she, um, I saved for a while for her. 
and my aunt helped me with it, so I kind of say she, my first resin doll was given to me by my aunt, and, um, she, I didn't get clothes for her, and she, I chose not to give her a wig, because I like the kind of animalistic look, like, with the bald look, but, um, I did, like, a lot of mods on her, and she has a closed eye, um, and a extra unicorn horn that I modded on her, and, um, she is, it fits into Monster High clothes, so I put her, those on her, um, and then, let's see, my first MSD doll was a mini feet Chloe, and, um, she, what had that fairy tie look, and her name was Evelyn, and I'm reshelling her, so I sold her doll, mini feet sculpt, and I'm looking to shell her into a, um, Dollzone Vita 2, and uh, I just really love Dollzone and Doll Chateau. Those are my two favorite companies, um, and, uh, Fairyland being a third favorite, and, um, then I got my mini Fialaya, um, and he was a mod doll, and I made him into a handicapped character. His name's Morty, but recently I put him on an, one of my other mini fees bodies, and he's not a handicapped character anymore, and I sold that mini fees head. He was my um, mini fee Wren, and he, his name was Maynard, and I'm going to reshell him, possibly into a doll legend sculpt, and then a doll I still have, which is my mini fee Elia. Um, his name's Morty. I think I already said that. But. And then the next doll I got was my doll Chateau Bella. I was actually excited that I got my first MSD doll Chateau. And um, I'd made the sculpt. I know it's a female sculpt, but I made it into a boy because it has that androgynous look. And um, his name is Fordson. And he's went through some changes. And he's like a witch. His character is a witch. And then I got, for my birthday from one of my friends, I got a doll's own uh, Benjamin head. And um, his, it took me the longest time to get his body, but I got him a doll chateau kid body. So he's my first hybrid doll. And his name is Curtis. And then, um, I, uh, am waiting on my first two SD dolls, and I'm really excited for those, and they're both boys. I love, I love boy dolls, uh, and now here we are today in 2016. I guess I really started a hobby with BJDs in 2013. I didn't really start in 2012, because that was pull-up dolls, not BJDs. So, yeah, that's me, Malik, in the hobby. And if you guys want to check out some of my dolls, my DeviantArt is Spacegasm, and my Instagram is Spacegasms, like with an S. And I'm going to link those down below. So, thank you for listening to me ramble. Bye.